as a genuine all-American muscle car has pulled up on the stage here at the SEMA Reveal 2017 SEMA Show Exhibitor Appreciation Party. Sir, come on up here. Welcome to the party. Tell everybody your name. I'm Mark Warman with Graveyard Cars out of Springfield, Oregon. Like you don't know who this guy is. Mark, tell me about this wing car that you have brought up here on the stage. It almost hangs over both sides. <laughs> yeah, these are long cars. This car started life as a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner, 383 automatic two-door hardtop, and it's been converted to look like a Plymouth Superbird. The best part of this particular car is that we've blended old world and new world technology. This was state of the art for 1970. It now has in it the Hellcrate engine, 707 horsepower Hellcrate engine, pick up the phone call, Mopar order the engine, the controller unit that goes with it. So basically everything under the hood is Mopar. And that's very rare today to find one with a, a late model engine and not have to add a bunch of different accessories to make it work. This is a, uh, you're right, a very fantastic blend because you first look at this car, you think, wow, they did a really nice stock restoration on that car. Well, that was our, our plan, just like last year's car, the 71 Cuda. We wanted it on the outside, really, and on the inside to look exactly like a 1970 Plymouth Superbird. That's important to us. We're OE guys, right? But we've also got to realize that it's a new world. The cars won't be around forever. A lot of cars are missing their original numbers matching engines. So the late model crate engine is the perfect answer for it. Electronic ignition, electric fuel pump, starts, runs, drives. And it wasn't a numbers matching Superbird to start with. No, I would never do it to a real uh, Superbird or Daytona or a Cooter or anything like that. But, but it's fun to do it to something like this. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it, and it's uh, wickedly fast too. This Hellcrate program is big news. Oh yeah, I think they're going to announce it tomorrow officially at 426. But I think what you're going to find is a lot of people that want that kind of 707 horsepower with just ordering parts and putting it in. The easiest thing on this whole car was the plug and play part of the computer, getting it to play well. The hardest thing was getting it all to fit under the hood of the Superbird without modifying anything because with that supercharger on it, it's much taller than the 392. But we did, and here it is. Yeah, and here it is. and, and uh Knowing people that have done the Hellcat driveline swap without that system, they jump through a lot of hoops. This thing, idle smooth, sounds quiet, you'd never know. Yeah, I mean, prior to these uh, controller units that they have, like last year, we introduced the one to the 392, and then this year, prior to that, you would go to a wrecking yard and you'd find a wrecked car, got the wiring harness out of it, try to figure out where to terminate all the leads that went to things you don't need in these old cars. Now it's plug and play, literally plug and play. So. It's awesome. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for bringing it. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for the, uh, the Superbird. And Mark, for bringing it out. And, and make sure you get a chance to check this out at the Mopar display. We're going to make sure that you uh, very carefully are able to uh, bring it down the ramp because this one is hard to see the corners. I've driven these. The back ones you can see with the big wing. The front one, you can't see that nose.